Hey everybody, welcome to this unboxing video of Atlantis Rising, which uh, my wife over here, hello, uh, bought for Christmas and uh, it took about two, three more weeks for us to actually get this thing because it was, I don't know, back order or something. So very much happy to be doing uh, this unboxing. Let's get into it right now. Atlantis Rising second edition and uh, it's got the seal of excellence, which I notice has actually been Stuck on. So actually... Maybe it's a fake. Maybe I've got the seal of excellence. I've got the seal of excellence. <laughs> She's got it on... On my belly. On her belly. All right, let's do it. Let's flip this thing. So, hmm. What if you could save Atlantis from its fated destruction? Well, then I guess I would. I guess I would do that. Let's move in closer here to read this stuff. All right. The Atlanteans have built a glorious civilization, but a reliance on technology powered by mystic energy has caused them to turn away from the gods. The gods will not tolerate such hubris in mere mortals. Atlantis must be destroyed. In this challenging cooperative game of survival, players are counselors who must use their followers, special powers, and ancient artifacts to escape Atlantis before it sinks beneath the waves. Atlantis Rising uses an innovative method of simultaneous worker placement, so everybody at the same time, asking you to plan together how to divide your workers among available action locations. Okay, okay. So we got some characters over here, this is the board, some cards. 37 interlocking tiles form the island of Atlantis. Work together to find gold, ore, crystal, and Atlantium before the tiles flip over and Atlantis floods. So it's not so much Atlantis rising as Atlantis flooding. Flooding. <laughs> yeah. Atlantis needs you. Are you up to the task? Build the cosmic gate. Turn in resources and slot gate components into the gate board as, you, as your means of escape is created piece by piece. Yeah, because the goal is to actually create this huge, um, let's call it a stargate. It's a stargate. Yeah, it's a stargate. Atlantis. Uh, yeah, we have to build this before this whole island collapses onto itself. So we got a whole bunch of stuff in there. Let's uh, let's do it. Yay! All right, trusty knife here. Let's do it. Do you think they would have made it uh, with the Stargate IP? <laughs> it would have been nice. Would have been nice to have a uh, Samantha Carter and Rodney McKay. <laughs> Well, I would play it as Rodney McKay, I think. I mean, we are Canadian, so I think we owe it to ourselves to play one of us. I'd either be Rodney McKay or Jason Momoa, Dex. You're, so, yeah, so you'll be, um, you'll I'll have be, a crush on yourself? I'll, I'll have a crush on myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will look in the mirror. <laughs> I'm so buff. <laughs> Ladies love the Momoa. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. There's like a thick plastic here. Do we do we get to keep this? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. Wow. This is like a mandala or something. That's very nice. It's like yeah. That's um, nice because you have like these little. Oh uh, wow! Check this out. This is like embossed. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a space pizza. Mm. Mystic Mystic Pizza. Mystic Pizza. Look it up. <laughs> It's a mystic pizza. So your, okay. your uh, tokens won't like fly away. Yeah, they will actually be slotted in. Okay, nice. This is pretty Interesting. nice. Interesting. Let's put this over to the side. Maybe put it there. I mean, we can flip through this fast here. Wow. It's pretty colorful. No, it, it is. I mean, they, they, it, it just <laughs> pops. <laughs> She's like, wow, you're so excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a game. It's colorful. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Uh, game round phases. Okay. Game actions. More things. Misfortune cards, library cards, mystic barriers, mystic energy, resources, resources, and knowledge cards. Okay. Okay. Adjusting difficulty. I like that. What is it? Solo variant. Oh, solo variant. Good. 
Very good. Because you can play one to four players. Yeah, is that what it says? One to four? I think it is. Cool. And we've got some FAQ in the back, which is always appreciated. All right, what else? Um. No, it's one to seven players. One to s seven. Yeah, one to seven. Oh my. Okay. Seven. Wow, we're gonna have to get new friends. So yeah, I don't know what this is. This is, I think, what do they call that? The Wrath of the Gods. No, well, that doesn't sound good. So I guess water is gonna come up and I don't know, make Thanks. our lives miserable. That was not necessary, but it's nice. Just the other side. I don't think that other side really does anything. So what do we got here? We got the, the champion. champion, the astrologer, the priestess. She's gonna hurt herself. She's gonna fall down and hurt herself. <laughs> She's had wooden boobs. She's got wooden boobs? <laughs> I think it's a breast <laughs> protector. Yeah, it's an uncomfortable bra is what it is. Uh, the scholar. The, the astronaut. Aqua the <laughs> aquanaut. <laughs> okay, okay. The <laughs> artificer? The artificer. Mm, okay. He looks like... Yeah. He looks like a douche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like somebody who's really into craft beer and uh, <laughs> is kind of smug about it. And he ate too much cheese. Too much cheese. Uh, the Emissary. No, not Benjamin Sisko. Another one. Yeah. Mm. The Guardian. She looks mean. Mm -hmm. Although she's lacking muscle mass for a Guardian, I would have to say. <laughs> she's fit. <laughs> she's, she's fit. She's not, like, kicking ass. Wait, Doctor, <laughs> Doctor Strange? <laughs> my uncle? <laughs> I, my uncle is... N none of my uncles are that good looking, I gotta say. And the mystic, who the, looks I like... Mean, Patricia Arquette? I don't know. N yeah, whatever. Okay, so obviously all of these people here uh, have special powers. Let's let's read her She's for fun. She's lacking iron. She, <laughs> her power is lacking <laughs> iron. Iron deficiency. When another Atlantean is on the same tile as your leader fails their productive action, okay. when another Atlantean on the same tile as your leader fails their productive action, you may remove your leader without taking its own productive action to allow the other Atlantean to succeed instead of fail. There's a lot of pronouns here and I'm very confused. Okay, we'll see as we play. So, characters, how many? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten characters, and okay. you play up to seven. So yeah, variety is pretty good here. Oh, do they have a special? Oh shoot! Oh, you can play yeah. as a girl or a, or a guy. Check it out. So like. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you wanna. Do you, yeah. Do you have? It? I don't know if there's. <clears throat> they have the same powers. They probably do. Let's say the astrologer. You you may place your leader and up to two other Atlanteans after everyone suffers misfortunes, but before anyone takes actions. You may play Sufferers, Misfortune. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, so the same thing. They just give you a guy version and a girl version. Again, not necessary and probably more expensive to produce. But you got all these different variations. So you, the girl with the rubber boobs is now... Wooden boobs. The wooden boobs is now uh, this, this, this guy, man. Cool. Good, 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 good. Oh, this is good. Again, very much appreciated. This is a badass. Look at this guy. Although, kind of looks like he works at the corner shop, too, with this shirt, with the sleeves here. <laughs> yeah, what are you looking for? A caulking? Yeah, I got the kind of caulking you want. Mm. Okay. Emissary. Okay, the other version. The Guardian. The Explorer. This is like Dora when she's all grown up. Oh. Oops. And the Mystic. Oh. So we had Patricia Arquette, or Patricia Arquette's younger sister. <laughs> it's actually David Arquette in drag. Look at the size of these dice! <gasps> I mean, that's huge. Those are the biggest dice I've seen in a game so in a far. Game, yeah. I mean, you, there's always novelty they're, dice. They're light, though. They are very, yeah, they seem to be light. Uh, we got uh, packs of cards here. We'll check those out later. We got... Uh, plant, plant rocks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, <laughs> when you want to pimp up your... When you want to bling out your plants at home, you get these you glass... You go to the dollar store and you buy that. Yeah, these are, these are 
china dollar store things but they are chunky and it's nice to D didn't you like put one of those up, up your nose, nose when you were a kid a child uh, similar to this yeah when i was a kid uh, we had a, a plant and they had these things on top there to make it look nice and i don't know i was 10 or something and i put one of these things oh you were 10 i thought you were younger <laughs> i don't know what <laughs> i put one of these things up my nose and uh, it got stuck there for a couple hours and my dad was like, we are not going to the emergency room. <laughs> and eventually uh, we had to cut my nose off. Um, Dumbass. This is... I want to say this is... No, no, it's plastic, no, no, it's plastic. But it's clanky. Yeah, but it's, it's nice. It's good. It's silver. It's not, it feels like something different than your regular little wooden blocks. And all of these are, you know, these are like little That's plasticky... Cool. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this game is a little expensive, but at the same time, I mean, this stuff is pretty... Looks like little uh, candy caramel. Yeah. This could go up my nose easily now. Oh. <laughs> now let's put this aside. What else? We got what looks to be some type of quartz. This is plastic. Yeah. But it's nice. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna have to not play with M&Ms or any type of other candy on the board because uh, <laughs> things are going to get confusing. Look at this! Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. They're so shiny. Uh, oh, Is it a, coming the, off? There's a residue. There's like a black... Uh, yeah, like a black residue. What's going on? It's like these things... What's with the black stuff here? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you guys can see that. Sorry. See that black stuff? But is it coming off? No, it's just like... I don't know. It's strange is what it is. Here, put that back in the bag. Uh, what else? We have a little man. Like a little metal man. And then a whole bunch of these, uh, I'm guessing that's the characters, our workers. Oh, it's... They have different shapes. So you have Papa Meeple and the oh, wow. Children Meeple? Get out of here. What is it? Get out of here. Here, let's open that. Papa Meeple, Mama Meeple. Papa Meeple, Mama Meeple. I love that color. Okay, let's just put him in the hand here. Uh, okay, I guess the big one is your leader. The other ones are, you know, yeah. standard dudes. And they have different uh, shapes. They do, as right? Well. Not, not the little ones, but the big ones. Oops, sorry. Yeah, see, that leader <laughs> isn't <laughs> the same. That's pretty yeah, sweet. Yeah, they're all different. I mean, this is going above and beyond. Cutting different shaped leaders for every is it really <coughs> that was a sneeze sorry for every one of these and i want to say yeah see this one yeah the big ones are all different he's got his hand up this one is i don't know serving tea this one <laughs> looks like a samurai oh. where, where am i <laughs> right there yeah okay okay wow okay yeah that to me is uh overkill but in a good way colors are nice also you've got a <laughs> This guy, this, ch this guy changes colors. Oh, he's actually. I think he's transparent. He, yeah, he's very transparent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can see right through. I can't do this. We got these standees uh, to help for I don't know what. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. Yeah. T let's tilt that guy. See, so he is translucent, but at the same time, he's kind of like holographic. Cool. Is this game from the future? And then all of these things, which I guess you slot into this bad boy. Like so. Oh, yeah. nice. But look at the pile. I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's, I mean, there's way more than nine here, right? So probably you'll build this thing differently every game. That's pretty good. So on one side, what is this? A secular bulwark. Again, a word I've never seen before. And that's the definition right there. Bulwark. <laughs> so, okay, I guess this is unbuilt because it looks like plans and then it's built. I would guess. You know, it looks like a blueprint and then it's like all full of energy. So, there mm -hmm. you go. Meh. So, I mean, we can look at some of these really quick here. A prediction module. Which looks like an old car radio. What do you got? An Epiphanous port. An amplification harbor. I mean, it's a cube. Let's not kid ourselves. A recollection engine. 
Hmm. A loyalty apparatus. We could use some of that. A numi, numi, numinous, numinous, numinous. Again, numinous. What does that mean? A Gemini capacitor. I'm a Gemini. Entropy drive. I am a Gemini. Mm -hmm. A pressure keel. An augur turbine. A cognitive transfer. Hmm. Can you tell what I'm thinking? <laughs> the solar matrix, an essence multiplier. There's a guy in there. There's a guy in there. Okay. A contingency field, a spirit seal, a soul terraformer, a matter converter, and an astral watchtower. I am very excited to see what all of these things do. And I dropped one on the floor. Jeez Louise, these things are pre-punched. Look at this stuff. Look at this stuff. Oh, come on. Man, that is a lot of artwork and a lot of cardboard. That's crazy. Okay. It's too messy. Yeah, I know, so it's very messy. This is the messiest unboxing yeah, in the world. I don't like it. Little token here. More of these. Uh, yeah, that's... Um, these are some very irregular pieces. Okay, okay. I gotta say, I'm, I do like unpunching things. Um, so I'm gonna miss out on that. But again, also I'm, I'm happy that they are <laughs> unpunched. Because I feel like this could be a dangerous situation when you... I don't know. But uh, man, the art is gorgeous on these things. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's look at some of these cards, and then we will let you guys go, because I know you've got better things to do than watch us idiots unbox. Or do you? Misfortunes. This looks like the book cover of a potentially very bad book. Movie. I said book, book cover. Book, book cover. <laughs> it's a book cover. It's a book cover of about a movie. A movie. Yeah. So, Misfortune cards. A whole bunch of these, because, you know, misfortunes are always good. Libraries? Okay. Controlled Flood. Flood two tiles in any sections. Mystic barriers do not prevent these floods. Okay. What else? Earthquake. Never good. Energy Drain. Alright, so bad stuff. Panic! Okay. Let me get another one here. Another of oh, some more misfortunes over here. Yeah. Here, do you want to open this while I flip through the other thing? I don't need your thing. On camera, maybe? Like, here? There you go. Mm -hmm. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna mm -hmm. flip through... Oh, library. Puzzle production. Oh, come on. Puzzle of production. Cipher of expertise. Virtue of sharing. Lost Shima. I mean, this is Stargate, right? It is Stargate. Come on! And I'm all for that. I'm a big fan of Stargate and Stargate Atlantis. Elysian Stone Artifact. Okay, what do you got? Yeah, these are all... Yeah, same as... Conceas! Uh... Ah, okay. Spur of the Cycle. I don't know. Spur of the Cycle? Okay. So, Conceas, Conceas, Cities, Forest... Okay, I guess hills. so it'll probably say, like, in the mountains do energy drain. And then on the seas, do hopelessness or something like that. I, I don't know. I'm guessing over here. I've seen uh, a playthrough of this thing, but um, I don't remember most of it. I just know that it sparked my curiosity, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to get that for Christmas. Or ask that for Christmas. And uh, I got it because you got it for me. You're da -na -na. Love. La, la, la. All right. So that's it. This is Atlantis Rising. We will be probably playing this today. And as soon as we have a few plays under our belts, we'll be probably doing a review, right? So uh, thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And we will see you guys on the next, next one. one. And if you want some more videos, YouTube thinks you might like the one on the left. I personally think you might enjoy the one on the right. And if you want to make sure to never miss any of my videos, I would ask you to click the middle button here to, of course, subscribe. It's not a good way to go. Indeed. You say that a lot. What? Indeed.